Hello, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will answer 11 of the most asked questions in Sendfox. Keep watching. Let's jump right in. Number 1. What does warming up mean and why do I have to do it? Deliverability is of utmost importance in email marketing to ensure that emails are delivered to your subscribers' inboxes. As an email service provider, SendFox has systems in place to keep deliverability rates at a high level. One of them is the warm-up process. Warming up occurs on the first large send. All users sending to a small number of contacts will be warming up as well. This means all new users of the platform will go through the warm-up process. The warm-up process reviews your email stats for the first few hours. If your emails have good stats in the first couple of hours, your email will continue to send to the rest of your contacts in your mailing list. However, if SendFox encounters bad stats, your account will be optimized and SendFox will stop sending the email. To learn more about optimization, click the link above to watch the video. Number 2. What happens when I archive a newsletter? Archiving a newsletter is like deleting the email from your SendFox account. You will no longer have access to its contents and stats. When an email is in the process of sending, it will stop sending once it's archived. Number 3. How do I reset my newsletter schedule? If you have set the email to send in the future, you can reset it by clicking on the schedule button at the bottom of the email editor. You will be taken to the schedule settings. You can either set another schedule or click reset to remove the schedule. Once an email has been reset, the email will be reverted to not scheduled on the email's dashboard. Number 4. How do I add contacts to a list? There are three ways you could add contacts into a mailing list. Importing a CSV file. Click on lists on your dashboard. Toggle the button beside the list you want your contacts to be added into. Select the option Upload CSV file. Map out the fields correctly during the process to match the headings on your file with fields in SendFox. Click Import. Via Manual Entry. Click on Add Contact next to the list. You will be taken to the contact record form. Manually type your contact's information to fill it out. Save the record you have just created. And lastly, Via Automation Add a sub-trigger on an automation sequence. Set the condition. Then set the action to add the contact to another list. Save the sub-trigger and save the automation. Question number 5. How do I merge lists? The only way to merge lists is by downloading contacts from one list and then importing the downloaded CSV file into another. Question number 6. How do I resubscribe contacts? The only available option to resubscribe a contact is by requesting our support team at originals at AppSumo.com. Wondering why this is so? This is to prevent users from abusing the ability in the platform. If an unsubscriber reaches out to you and requests to resubscribe, just email us and we will resubscribe them back. This is in compliance with GDPR. Question number 7. Why is my newsletter campaign not sending? There may be several reasons for this. 1. Your account may have been optimized. If your contacts in the list have not been engaging with you within the 90-day period, your email will send to zero recipients. When your account is optimized, you would only be sending to contacts who have actively engaged with you within that period. 2. All contacts in the list may not have confirmed their double opt-in. Unless subscribers confirm their subscription with you, you would not be able to send emails to them. 
This does not apply if you have disabled double opt-in with your Empire add-on subscription plan. 3. You may have set the email to send to active subscribers only. On the email editor, if this checkbox is marked, this newsletter would only send to contacts that have been engaging with you in the past 90 days. If all contacts on the list have never engaged with you within that period, your email was sent to zero recipients. Question number 8. Why are my automation emails not sending? There are four things you need to review. 1. Check if your automation is running. If its status is stopped, click the Start button to launch the automation. 2. Contacts should have confirmed double opt-in. This does not apply if you have disabled double opt-in, an option available to Empire add-on plan subscribers. 3. Open your sequence emails and review if the checkbox Send to Active Subscribers Only is marked. Remove the checkmark on all of your sequence emails to send this email even to inactive contacts that are in the flow. 4. Open your automation and review the delay period on each of the sequence emails. If your subscribers have not met the required delay period, the sequence email will not be triggered. Question number 9. Why aren't my subscribers receiving my double opt-in? Ask your subscribers to check their spam or junk folder in case the double opt-in email landed there. To ensure that your double opt-in email lands on their inboxes, the email address on the double opt-ins send from field should have a validated domain. If your send from email address is using an unvalidated domain, it will be sent from mail at sendfoxmail.com. Click on the link above to watch your video on validating domains. Question number 10. I have multiple businesses. How do I switch the business address on the footer? Sandfox is primarily designed for email marketers with only one valid physical postal address. If you own multiple businesses in multiple locations, it would be best to add a post office box duly registered with the U.S. Postal Service or a private mailbox registered with a commercial mail receiving agency established under post service regulations. P.O. boxes are allowed under the CAN Spam Act. Question number 11. What conditions would get your account terminated without notice? Just like any other app, if a user abuses the platform in any way, Sunfox will terminate their access immediately with no refund. This may include but not limited to the following. Affiliate marketing, cold outreach campaigns, spammers, bots, and other types of poor senders affecting email deliverability for other users. This is stipulated in the terms of service you have read, understood, and agreed upon signing up for an account with Sendfox. I will include the link to our terms of service on the description box below. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions about Sandfox, shoot us an email at originals at appsumo.com. You can also ping us on social media. Links are in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.